Hello, welcome to PlayStation Access. I'm Nathan, and today I am with Katsuhiro Harada, who is the boss of Tekken. We're going to be talking about Tekken 7, which I've had a go of next door. I beat a man, I'd never met him before, but I won. That's what I'm doing for you guys. Uh, and my first question, uh, Tekken 7, uh, it's the first time it's in Unreal. Could you tell us what the uh, Unreal Engine allows you to do? What does it mean for Tekken 7? This is actually the first time we've used an outside engine. We used to write our own code for everything until now. But the Unreal Engine has really allowed us to attain very high level graphics pretty quickly. Not just for the characters, but also things like particle effects, objects breaking on the ground, and the physics involved in the movement of clothing. Unreal has allowed us to do all this relatively easily. This time uh, Akuma is in the game. Yeah. I've seen Akuma. What's he doing there? That's my, that's my only question. What's he doing there? Ano. Well, he's kind of different to your typical guest character in that he's actually tied to the storyline for Tekken 7. When people pick up the game, they'll find out more of the details, but he's especially involved in one of the older story arcs with the Mishima family, namely between Heihachi and his wife Kazumi, who's now dead. Akuma, he actually owes Kazumi a debt, so when players play through the storyline, they can figure out what that is and how he's involved in the Mishima clan. And in the uh, presentation that we just saw, the move from uh, cinematics and cutscenes mm -hmm. straight into the gameplay, and then kind of the interruption, kind of storyline coming into the fights, uh, that all seems that kind of differently integrated this time. Can you talk a little bit about what you've done there? So, I know. This is really an evolution of the mechanics themselves because up until now we've had these opening CG type of movies. Then we've also had the characters' entrance poses and their spoken lines and then they go into battle with each other. But it's always been set, the characters always start the same distance apart from each other, almost as though they've met beforehand and decided where to start, which felt kind of strange. So I'd always wanted to do this, and having discussed it with the programmers, they were able to achieve this seamless flow of going straight from cinematics into the in-game cinematics, and then into the gameplay. The starting positions of each character depend on what happened in the story, and the situations they fight in are also affected by the opening sequence of the story as well. This feels much more natural, and something I've always wanted to do. My final question, mm -hmm. um, I did win my the only game that I've played so far, um, but I've been playing Tekken for a long time, Tekken mm -hmm. 3 was my big game, and back then we didn't have any of the Rage Arts, so can you just kind of explain a little bit about, about what Rage Arts are and the best time to use them? Mm -hmm. So the Rage Arts are available when you're enraged, which is when your health is below a certain amount and you enter a Rage Mode. That's when you have access to these. So then, should you use it right away as soon as you're enraged? Maybe not, because the amount of damage you deal with your Rage Arts depends on how much health you have left. The less health you have left, the more damage you do. Another property of the Rage Arts is that you can absorb a hit from your opponent. So even if they're attacking, you can blow through it to finish them off. So you need to think strategically about how much health your opponent has left and when is the best time to use it. And in certain instances, it might be better to not use it at all and just continue to use regular rage mode. And the very final thing I'd like to ask you, in the new kind of story section, I saw Akuma say, uh, die a thousand deaths which was awesome and I want to know if you had like a final if you had a battle cry where you were going to kill somebody what would it be well in Japan we call it Pukuchi and in English I think it's cilantro or coriander I hate it so much that I could die if I ate it so if I was going to use a special chant it would be you give me cilantro I'm going to beat your behind <laughs> <laughs> I actually use it frequently because when it does appear on my plate, I turn into Godzilla and rant and rave. I do actually use that one. Awesome. Thank you so much for coming Thank on today. You. It's Thank been you. brilliant. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned. We've got loads more coming up over E3.